Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a uh, sort of open channel problem, and here's what the question says. Uh, find the fruit number of the channel shown below if the channel is at maximum capacity and the flow is 100 cubic foot per second. The drawing is not to scale. And then we see our four options there available to us in decimal points. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this guy fired up. If you're looking for some reading material, uh, in the PE manual, you're going to be in version 1.1 for this one, 1.1. And uh, we're going to be in section 6.4.3.1. And that is also known as page 343. That's where we can find this formula that we need. Uh, and in the FE manual, we're going to be in version 10.2. Uh, in the civil engineering section, page uh, 295. All right, and whenever you look on those pages, you'll find a formula that looks a little bit like this. Fruits number is equal to uh, the velocity over your square root of g gravity times this yh, uh, which is also equal to the square root of our flow rate squared times the width of your channel t or the width of your water, sorry, uh, over G times your cross-sectional area cubed. And so we have two different equations that we can work with. It actually gives us in the problem 100 cubic foot per second. Um, if you're curious, you can convert that over to velocity. It ends up being two, uh, two feet per second. You divide the flow rate by the cross-sectional area, you get your velocity. That's an extra step. We're in the business to knock out these questions as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Gives us flow rate. Let's use the flow rate uh, part of this equation. So let's plug and chug here. Fruits number is equal to the square root of, and hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. If you haven't, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources to help you pass your FE and PE exams the first time. And so with that said, this flow rate is going to be 100 cubic foot per second. Always write out your units so that way you don't uh, screw, up your, screw up your units there. Uh, T is the width of our water surface. Well, we're going to go ahead and assume that the water is actually going to work with gravity and so it's going to look something like this. Uh, it's maximum capacity, so really it's going to be at the top but uh, minor detail there. This is the width of our water surface right there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and say it's 10 foot. And then we divide that by our gravity. Our gravity is 32.2 feet per second squared. That's a good number to memorize. And then we need to multiply that by our cross-sectional area cubed. So our cross-sectional area is gonna be five foot times 10 foot, 50 square feet. We need to cube it, so we're gonna go 50 feet squared. Cube that guy. And then we square root all of that, and that will give us our Prude's number. Well, whenever you plug this into your calculator, you should end up with 0 0.158, and that guy looks an awful lot like 0.16. So hey, I hope this video was helpful, and we'll catch you next time.